Hello students, happy to meet you through this video. In this video, I am going to teach one of the very important topic, partial fractions. After 10th standard, whether you take general maths or business maths, for higher classes, this is one of the very important area, how to resolve into partial fraction. First, let me explain what is partial fraction. All of you know how to simplify this expression, right? 2 by x plus 3 plus 3 by x minus 4. What we do? We take LCM. What's LCM here? x plus 3 into x minus 4. So you get 2 into x minus 4 plus 3 into x plus 3. When you expand, you get 2x minus 8 plus 3x plus 9. Divided by denominator, also expand it, x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. So when you simplify, you are getting 5x plus 1 divided by x square, like terms you simplify, x square minus x minus 12. Now listen, so you know if an expression is given like this, how to simplify, right? That you know how to simplify. This is what you are getting. But now, if this is given, they are giving this expression, how to find this original question? So that process, we call it as resolving into partial fractions. So what is the use of this partial fraction? There are three types of questions can be asked for the examination point of view. One is direct question, resolve into partial fraction. And the second one is for binomial expansions. We use partial fraction. And the third one, very important in integration, we use this partial fraction. So partial fraction is one of the very important area. So here, you know there are two types of fractions, proper fraction and improper fraction. What is proper fraction? If the degree of the numerator is smaller, than the denominator, then it is proper fraction. If the degree of the numerator is more, we call it as improper fraction. So here, in proper fraction, there are three types. The first type is, they give a numerator, denominator, some linear factors. So here, the denominator is x minus 2, x plus 3. Denominator degree is 2, right? So the numerator degree must be less than 2. It may be a constant or degree 1, some x term, right? So that is of the first type. This can be written as a by the first factor. What is the first factor? x minus 2 plus b by the second factor, x plus 3. So this is the first type. Sometimes, instead of two factors, they may give three factors, three linear factors. So can be written as a by first factor plus b by second factor plus c by the third factor. We have to find the values of this a, b, c. Sometimes the question may be like this. Numerator is given, denominator is x squared plus 5x plus 6. It is not linear. You check whether you can factorize it on or not. Can you factorize it? Numerator you write as it is. Denominator can be written as x plus 2 into x plus 3. So this is also of the first type only. You can write it as a by x plus 2 plus b by x plus 3. Right? Look at this one x minus 7 by x plus 2 into 9 x square minus 4. Is it of the first type? See the second one, square is there, but can be factorized. 3x the whole square minus 2 square. a square minus b square, a plus b, 3x plus 2 into 3x minus 2. So denominator is the product of three factors. Again, this is first type. So you can write it as a by x plus 2 plus b by 3x plus 2 plus c by 3x minus 2. So all these are first type only. Now let us see what is second type. Look here, numerator x plus 2, denominator x plus 7, the whole square into x plus 3. What difference you can see here? Whole square is there, right? Some whole square or whole cube, something like that. That is not of the first type, that is second type. Here how to write, you know? whole square. So for that itself, you write two terms. How you know? a by x plus 7 plus b by x plus 7 square. Suppose it is cube. You write three terms. 
a by x plus 7, b by x plus 7 square plus c by x plus 7 cube. But here it is square only. Don't leave it. Still one more factor is there. That's a linear factor. So like first type, already we used a and b. So you write c by x plus 3. So this is of the second type. Now let us see what is third type. See, numerator x plus 2 by x plus 7 into x square plus 3. Here also x square is there, but not the whole square. But you check it. Can you factorize it? No, you cannot factorize. So this is of the third type. So how to write, you know, a by x plus 7 plus, for the next one, x square plus 3 cannot be factorized. So degree is 2. So numerator reduce 1 degree. So write a linear one. Already we used a, you write bx plus c by x square plus 3. Suppose if that term comes first, Suppose the denominator is x square plus 3 into x plus 7. The first one is that term, right? Quadratic. So you write ax plus b, ax plus b by x square plus 3 plus c by x plus 7. Okay, like that you can write. So these are the three types in proper fraction. Suppose improper fraction is given. If improper fraction is given, you divide it. Divide it and write it as the sum of a polynomial and a proper fraction. This proper fraction can be resolved in any one of the three methods what I taught. Just I'm going to explain one example sum. With which sum we started, I'm going to take the same thing. Okay, 5x plus 1 by x square minus x minus 12. First step, you factorize the denominator. Can you factorize it? So numerator is 5x plus 1. Denominator is sum is minus 1 product is minus 12, the numbers are 3 and minus 4. So you can write it as x plus 3 into x minus 4. Now we take only that part. 5x plus 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 4. You can write it as a by x plus 3 plus b by x minus 4. So this is our answer, but there are two unknowns. What are the two unknowns? A and B. You have to find that A and B and substitute here. For that, left side no change. 5x plus 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 4. Right side you take LCM. What's LCM? x plus 3 into x minus 4. So you will get A into x minus 4 plus B into x plus 3. So here you can cancel the denominators, right? Both the denominators get cancelled. So what you are getting? 5x plus 1 is equal to a into x minus 4 plus b into x plus 3. Now there are two factors, no? So make 1 by 1, 0. How can you make this x minus 4, 0? Put x equal to 4. So when you put x equal to 4, left side, 5 fourths are 20 plus 1, 21. Right side, the first term becomes 0. So you are getting... 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7b. Seven so you are getting b is equal to 21 by 7, it is 3. So b value 3. Now to find the other one, you make the other factor 0. What's another factor here? x plus 3. How can you make that x plus 3, 0? Put x equal to minus 3. When you put x equal to minus 3, 5 into minus 3, minus 15 plus 1. So minus 14 is equal to minus 3, minus 4. So minus 7a, the second part will be 0. So cancel minus on both sides. So a equal to 14 by 7, it is 2. So both the values you got it, a value, b value. Substitute it in the first equation. So the, your answer is sub substitute to the first one, okay? So a by, what is a? 2. 2 by x plus 3 plus b, b value 3. 3 by x minus 4, okay? So this is how to do. So this is an example for the first type. Like this, second type, third type, I'll teach you in my next video. <music>